Okay, are we on? Are we on? We are on. Look at that. Oh shit, we're on. What's popping, you absolute prize? My name's to you. Welcome back to Damn It Open. It's the show where I pop open a box and then you look at the thing that was in there and I talk about it for a minute. Are we bulldozing out there? Or are we are we plowing through? Are we making some form of progress? Are we impervious to any and all harm? You know it. Suffice to say, we're living. The camera is on. I'm talking at it. Things could be worse. But yeah, it's gotta say huge thanks to the hive mind for the response to friggin' the Bayverse B-list Rodeo. I did didn't think anybody would be interested. And I can't believe people enjoyed it. I mean, I kind of can, but I, <laughs> I thought that'd be one of those ones that nobody would care about. It's not new enough to be new. It's not old enough to be vintage. It's just sort of mid period. Here is some robots. But yeah, it's done all right. People seem to really like it. So thank you. That was a kind of idea palette cleanse. Cause so many of the ideas I had for that video have been floating around for like seven, eight, nine upwards years. So it feels good to have actually done them. It's very valid to have your uh, random throwaway ideas sort of strike a chord in that way. So really glad people enjoyed that. I cannot do any more specials for a bit. That is all the half hour episodes I have in me for the moment, okay? I gotta do some little ones. We're gonna focus on some regular rapid fire short ones for a bit. I know I make a lot of promises on the channel. We're gonna try, okay? Maybe something else will happen. Maybe some new ideas will come out. Can you imagine? So yes, we're gonna get on with some boxes any second, but first must say congrats to the previous winners. That is, uh, Keith Bosworth and Anthony Billings. Nice one, chaps. I imagine they've probably made it by now. It's been a couple of weeks. Certainly hope you enjoy those bots and uh, might do another giveaway this very day. And now, an actual box. So we have a large, uh, long, square, flat thing that has come from Sam over in Phoenix, Arizona. The shape has got me quizzical. Finally getting into Kingdom. After Earthrise, the hype was just completely drained. I was done with it. But we gave it a minute to recharge and we're fully back on board. I uh, picked up a few of them, but they're all really good so far. It's like Clonus, you saw the review. I love it. It's so good. I got friggin' Huffer and Ractonite. Just like pitch perfect Transformers stuff. It's great. And I'm almost certainly gonna have to show you quite a lot of them in some detail. Insert James Bond music. The name's Thew. Matthew. Hello, Thew. I wanted to thank you for always doing such funny, entertaining, and great content on YouTube. Oh, I find myself watching you every day now. Sorry. I've never sent a package to a YouTuber before. Then it pleases me to be the first. So I hope this reaches you safely. I was not sure what to give you. Thought about getting you Wolf Cybertron Netflix Hotlink, but you already have the other versions of that mold. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody gets it. Right after I did the Seeker video, everyone was like, well, you're going to get Hotlink then? It's like, no. I'm just demonstrating I've got far too many of this thing. I don't need another person. Purple one. I also don't need a rotten zombie one. I'm all right. Thank you for appreciating that. Keep up the amazing content. I will include a list of items on the back to avoid spoilers. This guy, this is the most considerate package. This is a clinic. Yes, I'm looking for knockoff Windblade figures. Yeah, that's weird. I've never seen a knockoff Windblade. Why has Windblade not been in the War for Cybertron? Where did she go? They were, they were pushing her like so hard. And now she's just gone? Just a ghost? Yeah, what the hell? Kingdom Windblade, please. Sincerely, Sam. Thank you, mate. Oh. Oh, mate, we're into it. Right, let's see what the crack is. Some kind of, uh, that's Prime Megatron, right? Looks like Freezer somehow, doesn't it? Oh, it's a launcher. Right, okay. There we go. Is this some Burger King action? A magazine freebie? Or a bit of the old uh, McDonald's tat? I don't know. <laughs> it has that vibe. Sort of a stingray hammerhead shape. Oh yeah, somebody said actually, uh, Cyclonus. They said the uh, the alt mode. Like they were fiddling with it and their mate was like, oh, is that a stingray? And that got them thinking maybe it could work for a retool into depth charge. And I can kind of see it, honestly. We are doing Beast Wars, so uh, something. Something to talk about. Anyway, we have some more, uh, yes, McDonald's Happy Meal gear. That is a, uh, oh, come on, let's pop it out. Movie verse Bumblebee with a thing on. How does that work? How do you do it? Where's the thing? Oh, is that it? <laughs> Pathetic. Uh, all right, so it only works once. Good in it. And yet also quite good light piping. Oh, baby, that is insanity. Okay, you pull the wings out. And then, right, 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 right. That's right, I had, I had something just like this that was Thunderhoof at some point. I can't remember what happened to it, but I guess that must have been McDonald's as well. Great. Is that what we're down to now? We're down to McDonald's tat. We've covered absolutely everything in the universe. Popping open these Bayverse McDonald's things that have been sealed for 10 years just to roast them for 20 seconds and put them away forever. At least, I suppose I'm sharing it with you. That's something. We could all have a look. What's the crack with this one? We got like an ugly little movie one Optimus. All right, he's got a little red LED in there. Is that anything? And a little flip out knife. Cool. Okay. 
good in it. Definitely a very worthwhile use of uh, fossil fuel derived materials. <laughs> Hunt for the Decepticons era paperwork. Hate that I like that more than the toy. <laughs> Battleblade, Bumblebee, and oh, Optimus. Those, those were the good ones, man. That was good times. This plays right into the whole Bayverse nostalgia. Now, Dark of the Moon was 10 years ago. Can we not? Can we not with that, please? Happy Meal codes. Let's all log on and try and do that. Happymeal.com. Let's freaking flash mob that server and try and spam that code in. Uh, we have a Transformers Dark of the Moon calendar from 2012. Here we go, some promo renders. Let's all enjoy this uh, very dated artwork. Oh, mate, such Xbox 360 era attitude. Oh, Shockwave, remember him for 10 seconds. I don't know, I kind of love it with the eyes cut out. That's kind of decent. It's a certain vibe, I suppose. The sour taste of Dark of the Moon Megatron. The lamentful eyes. I, oh, that's... That's actively depressing. The same piece of Shockwave concept art with a different douchey tattoo behind it. Oh, a different one, look at this. Wow, they really pushed Shockwave, didn't they? He was like the actual antagonist of the game as well, I remember. Oh, they gave up for December, look at this. Just the word Transformers. They really did not give a shit. Oh, I love this kind of crap. I've got a, a Bumblebee calendar somewhere. This, it's just the same three renders of Bumblebee on different backgrounds. There's like one image of Dropkick they've used three times. At least with this, it was the final renders. Oh, Sam. Thanks, that, that's, that's unusual at least. We haven't seen that on the channel before. What else is there? We're down to calendars. Uh, like a canvas bag. Imagine showing up to the gym with your gear in this and that bumblebee flask from last time. <laughs> oh, the print isn't even in focus. I love this. Oh, I kind of want to die. I didn't even realize that was Ironhide for a minute. I just thought it was some robot crap. He got Optimus, Bumblebee, and then just like some background. I didn't realize that was Ironhide. Treat bag, we're calling it. Doesn't feel like a treat. <sighs> stickers, 600 stickers. Does feel rather unsavory getting this kind of stuff 10 years after street date. We've got to have a look. What are we doing here? Bumblebee, Megatron, Shockwave, Optimus, um, and just some branding. Is this good? I uh, don't know what that is. The Allspark? The Allspark's a cube. That's just a stylized orb. General MacGuffin energy. I like the colors. Oh, come on. A balloon? An evergreen branded bumblebee balloon. <laughs> Is this where the show's at? I might stop this. I might close the channel. <laughs> this is what we're doing. This is all that's left to discover. Just a balloon with Bumblebee on it. Oh, okay. Got some Armada stuff. It's a jigsaw. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. We've got a miniature Transformers Armada Cyclonus jigsaw. Am I gonna sit here and do it on the channel? Should I stream that? Would you watch that? Me doing a jigsaw. <laughs> I might put it on Twitch. It's gaming, kind of. All right, I kind of love that. That is not something I knew existed. <laughs> okay, we have a Transformers nest. This is a uh, post Revenge of the Fallen little toy catalog. Brawn and the, the landmine repaint. Ravage and Bludgeon and dirge, God, this is primo stuff. Getting rather too pumped for merely little tiny images of toys I already own. Mission guide, yeah, buy all the merch, is it? Is that the mission, mate? A little nest jacket patch, all right. Put that on my battle jacket, shall I, next to my Saxon patch. Hell bent for leather. Uh, Transformers Collectors Club membership card, is that? Yeah, wow, 2009 Collectors Club membership card. That's a relic. It's holographic, it's got, um, is that heat wave on it? Mm, something. It's unusual. Got a knockoff. Oh, what's his friggin' growl, is it? Micromaster Growl? No, it's not Growl. It's um, it's him from the Construction Patrol. I always forget their names. I love Neutro and Ground Pounder, but the other two, I can't remember what their names are. Just a verb, like one syllable. Blech. Dig. Shove. Crawl. One of those. I don't know. Oh, come on through. Come on through. Pack of Transformers playing cards. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh. Literally just everyday household objects with Transformer symbols on them. Sam, I gotta say, this is dreadful. <laughs> Thank you for being so thoughtful as to provide a box of stuff. But this is just trash all the way down. Look at this. A child's backpack in the shape of an Autobot symbol from R.I.D. 2015. Thank you. It's so cool that you thought to give me some stuff, but it's... What? What am I gonna do with this? 
Lads, what is happening tonight? All right, this has been the most bizarre box of unexpected stuff. A child's backpack. Uh, got some McDonald's, lads. Stickers for your school books. A balloon. A calendar from nine years ago. <laughs> What am I gonna do with this? Straight on the clear out pile. So out of all that, this much was good. <laughs> I'm keeping that, the Cyclonus Jigsaw, that's brilliant. Thank you, Sam. Oh, uh, not a great start. <laughs> anyway, let's do a giveaway, come on. <laughs> This is something that I was in two minds about giving away, but it's gotta go. Uh, I'm done with it. We did the thing in like 2017. This was from that one Christmas video I did with the munch pack. We did the food flavored knockoff bots. There was some food involved. It wasn't very good. Five happy man calls together happy carnival to field. Are you ready? But the bots are quite a lot of fun. This is the happy party value happy transfer package. Healthy and happy every moment featuring a delicious potato. That's my body type. Ice cream, uh, yogurt drinkman. Yogurt drinkman. That's my detective name. One that was a cake and uh, the Hamburg. You remember him? You remember that, right? Was it good? No, but it could be yours if you'd like these uh, five cheeky knockoff lads in a box with a handle on it. So what I reckon we'll do is if you send us an email to thewgiveaways at gmail.com, I want the subject happy and the body party. Let's mix it up a little bit. Happy party, happy party. Oh, we're changing the format ever so slightly. Not that complicated. Guarantee loads of people will get it wrong. Uh, we'll go worldwide. It's only light. It's kind of big, but it doesn't weigh anything. Just enter the once, please. And we'll go until uh, Saturday the 17th. Plenty of time to get your entries in. And uh, this little box of nonsense could be yours, which also is my dating profile. Uh, is that everything? Oh yeah, good luck. Crucial input. So that is happening. Let's see what else we got. Okay, nice little one here. I think I know who this is from. Too few. Just chuck it in the post with that on it. It will reach me. Pretty sure this is from our mate Carl. Good old Carl. Magus. Never not hooking me up with shit. Can't give him a month. What is this paper? In Japanese newspaper with all anime statues in it. Gaming listings? What is this? Where's this come from? Where do you live now? Anyway, this is something pretty cool. Something from the semi past, which was uh, kind of a big deal at the time and is now all but redundant. But isn't that kind of what we live for? That is assuming. Yeah, it is. It is. It only is. Okay, here we go. Friggin' go. This, this is a kind of a huge treat. This, my friends, is Botcon Scourge and or the sweeps. I want to say 2008, but it's the Cybertron sideways mold. The wonderful, terrifying sort of flying saucerman who turns into a horrible, evil looking alien thing. But it's blue and it's silvery and it's Scourge and it's Friggin' wonderful. God, how how does this work again? I haven't messed with this figure for a while. I do have Sideways over here, but I, I haven't got him off the shelf for a bit. I can't really remember how it works. Boosh. Oh, look at that. Sinewy. Evil axolotl vibes. Let's see if we can crack this nut. That comes out and then sort of swings together. We have hips, leg wings. Is that, is that right? Is that right? What's that? Louder, sorry. Pantomime. He's behind you. Some of this Cybertron stuff was all right, man. A lot of it was big chunky dumbness, but some of it was like legitimately really clever. <laughs> oh, the tiny patheto head. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at this friggin' little exposed hips having tiny head ass little bitch. What's this? What is all this? What's going on with you, bro? <laughs> Ooh, we got it good right now, haven't we? <laughs> the friggin' latest studio series and kingdom stuff. It's so tight to think that this was the best we had for such a while. Even looking back at some of my semi-recent shit, Combiner Wars Megatron, I'm like, oh, golden age. And now it looks like garbage. Rickety, silly looking, but completely charming. Absolute disaster of a thing. <laughs> Oh, Carl, thank you, bro. What a thing to be able to check out just on a whim. What a treat. God, I'm sorry, Sam. That was so mean going off about that stuff you sent. How spoiled am I that I just get something like this on an average Tuesday? How, how bad is that? That this level of stuff is what it takes to get me impressed. I don't know, it might be worth going into some more detail on this because Sideways, we love Sideways, but my one's knackered. He's all scratched up, but this is in remarkable condition. Maybe we'll do a twofer. I'm trying to lay off the uh, gigantic videos because with Cyclonus, mate, it took a lot of willpower not to review every Cyclonus because we like the specials, but if everything becomes a special, then the specials aren't special. 
right? You just got to do some one-offs. But I think we can maybe go for a twofer on these. Scourge has got to get done. This is a this is phenomenal. It's like as good as Cyclonus. Maybe not as interesting, but it's as good. And that that ain't bad. Maybe we could, maybe we can do a twofer. See where we're at at the end of the month. I don't know. Anyway, thank you, Carl. That's really neat. Very impressed with that. He's gorgeous. I'm a sucker for a blue bot. And the thing about Scourge is, if you've got two, just be like, oh, and the sweeps. There you go. Because like with Cyclonus, it doesn't really wash the whole and his armada thing. Because that only really happened in one shot. But the sweeps are officially a thing. Get the Generations one on the go. G1. Pile them in. Buy five of these. They're a family. Great stuff. Carl Magus, once again, back at it. Okay, last one for today then. Let's see how this one goes. So this has come from James Heb... Hebebrand? Heb... Heb... Hebebrand? He... James. From James over in uh, Oceanside, California. I've been in touch with James a little bit and he hasn't told me what's in here, but I know he's quite keen for me to show it you. Damn it, open, damn it, open, damn it, open. Please open on your next damn it. Oh. I was gonna settle. Oh, what a day. What a mess this episode's been. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Hey, few! Enclosed are a few things. I hope you like them. I've been watching your videos for a few years. I'm a casual Transformers fan. I was nine in 1984 when they came out, and it's a good childhood memory. Please open this on your next damn it. Oh, I was gonna! I'm doing it! My god! Look up my band Heber Brand on YouTube. James from California. Ooh, Flesh in My Grip has the best main riff ever. Doesn't it, though? Always proud of that one. All right, here's a little mouth trivia for you. That song was originally called 60 Foot Praying Mantis. Why did we change it? Gymantis? Giant Praying Mantis. Okay, first off, we got a little knockoff. Um, that's the, uh, that's the Evergreen Megatron, right? No, that's not a knockoff. No, that's real. That's a real one. It just looks like a knockoff. Brilliant, I haven't got that one. Ideal few channel fodder. I could do this one and the core one and some of the other bullshit Megatrons, just chuck them all in, do a little melting pot Megatron. Don't, oh, God damn it, I'm gonna do it, aren't I? Yes. Yes, obviously. That's spectacularly convenient. Thank you. Uh, that's a tooth. Oh, it's a stress toy. Zest Dental Solutions. What the? You plug in your dental practice on my channel. <laughs> All right, residents of Oceanside, California, please do check out Zest Dental Solutions. Is this a sly dig at my own grill? I know, I know, I've got the stereotypical bad British teeth. Someone literally said in the comments the other day, you look like Austin Powers. F off. No, I don't. I objectively do not. I ain't that pretty. Mm, mm. Oh, who needs therapy? Couple of battle masters. I don't know who, which ones these are. A little orange dog with a with a sword on it. That, uh, that's the one that came with Moonlighter. Moonlighter? That's a game. Moon Racer. Gr green light. The same dog thing that came with Green Light. God, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a little little bloke. It's the same mold as Fire Drive, but it might be a different character. I don't know. God, I don't know any of them. Fr Frakar and Spoil Sport. They're the only ones I know. Could be Spoil Sport. He's the right colours. I don't know. Always room for some of those. Thank you, buddy. Some kind of Cyberverse Megatron. Sans Gun. So the fusion cannon becomes the barrel. Uh... It's not here. Incomplete, um, unusable Cyberverse Megatron. All right. It's still kind of a neat lad. Cannot dislike it but also can't do a thing with it. A couple of cheeky Ziploc bags. We have some Cyberverse, not that one. Commander class, not that one. Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime. Marvelous little figure, got both his guns. Yeah, he's in good shape. Friggin' instructions and a complimentary Megatron. Compli Megatron. Good old TF Prime Cyberverse. You were quite good. Good lads, quality lads, surprisingly good quality lads. Yeah, not bad then. So a couple of uh, Prime Cyberverse tiny leaders. Kinda good Megatron that I can't do a thing with it. Kinda terrible Megatron that I definitely can do a thing with it. Cheeky Battlemaster babies. And uh, a big squishy molar. Why ever not? Bringing box with three Megatrons in it, brilliant. So James, cheers for sending that over. I know it was a long time coming. Please do have a look at Heber Brand on YouTube if they're on there. Uh, cheers again to Carl for the wonderful little uh, botcon scourge. Cheeky sweepways. And uh, thanks again to Sam for all that friggin' tat. What'll I do with it? Uh, but while I've got you, before you nip off, can I interest you in a second giveaway? <laughs> All right, this is uh, continuing the theme of disappointing tat. This is a radio-controlled Autobot Squeaks from the last night, which was thoughtfully gifted to the channel by Joe at uh, Crosshairs Productions. It's a kind of fun thing, I guess. You've got controls, you can make it 
roll around, it makes a lot of noise, it wobbles, and it goes, we are a chihuahua, and it plays dubstep, because it's 2011, apparently. Okay. I've kind of had my fun with it, it's time to go, um, but we're gonna have to go UK only, I'm afraid. It's very heavy, there's batteries in it, it's not even that good, don't worry about it. I would just take this down the f charity shop, but it's shut for COVID. So let's do the standard email thing, few giveaways at gmail.com. Let's have squeaks in the title, don't forget to spell it all weird, S-Q-W-E-K-S. -E just that in the title and in the body once. Squeaks, squeaks, 17th of April once again. Uh, UK only, best of luck, let's just Get it on with ya. So, uh, uh, good luck. All right, that was a messy one, wasn't it? Flipping heck. Cheers for sticking with me. Um, I know it's been kind of chaos recently. I'm doing my best, but I should be back very soon. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my ass off and do one review a week for April. We'll see how we get on. We're off to a good start. We're gonna try, okay? So until next time, I've been Thew, you've been you, and ain't that just what we do? Catch you later, kiddo. <laughs> Back already, am I? God. I'm gonna say thank you to everyone who support me on Patreon. I do appreciate you. Wild times. And especially this time, Mr. Matt Keel. Thank you, mate. That's really it this time. I'm out. See you later. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.